followers of Paint HQ will know I've been a fan of using the Graco handhelds. Spraying small amounts of material and completing small projects. Projects that have taken just one battery or very few refills of paint. So used correctly they do last, however pump longevity has been a negative amongst paint contractors. But Graco has listened to the feedback and re-engineered the Triax pump. With a harder and more wear resistant piston and sleeve, life cycle has improved by up to three times. For a while I've been using the Graco Ultramax with the Triax 2 pump and trying out the new accessories. It's not missed a beat for me. So I've had my delivery from Sprayman UK. Let's go through a Triax 2 pump replacement for my Ultra handheld. The kit comes with a complete pump replacement. It's important to note the warnings about not removing the locking device or rotating the gear before installation. As always, it's worth familiarising yourself with the replacement instructions, which includes instructions on replacing various Ultra and Ultramax components. Remove the spray tip guard, flex liner cup assembly, battery and the filter if installed. There is eight screws in total to remove. Note that you will need a long shank number two Phillips screwdriver. First remove the screw holding the prime pump spray knob. Casing will remove from this point here. This mark identifies it's a Triax 2 pump. Once clicked into place, you can remove the locking device. Now tighten the seven screws that were undone or removed. Then install the prime pump spray knob with the new screw provided. Follow the assembly verification, which includes rotating down to prime and forward to spray. Next install the flex liner cup assembly filled with water and install the battery. 
test you can prime. This is the same setup procedure as a flusher new pump, removing factory storage fluid before setting up with paint. And spray. As always, I store airless pumps with pump armour ready for the next sprayed project. Fill the flex liner with enough pump armour to cover the pump inlet. Prime for a few seconds. Then spray into a waste container until you can see pump armour sprayed. Tip the remaining pump armour back into the bottle. 